I also think just the level and interest of them will grow even higher by the time it's like you kind of had this zero to one moment of like now you've built one and you've solved a problem that's totally impossible and it's really interesting we care about that mm. and then you know there'll be even more interest in kind of improving them and, and continuing to build them now i i don't know if you like this or or, or hate it but uh, there's a lot because i guess because they're nascent and they're new and they're uh uh exciting um made of um you know the marriage of quantum with ai Mm -hmm. nobody knows anything so you just what do you think of that and why are people maybe so fascinated with that yeah it's it's um and it's interesting because you know we're called google quantum ai and and that was like kind of a in, in some sense like a bit of an aspirational name from hartman nevin who's our founder right. but quantum and ai they're they're two they're two separate technologies yeah but they do complement each other mm -hmm. um in a number of ways uh you know so on one hand like ai can solve a whole bunch of things but it is fundamentally built on classical computers yeah. or at least the way that we've built them right now right and um so some problems that they won't be able to solve right. uh, that only a quantum computer could mm -hmm. but there are also some ways that they can kind of interact with each other so like at uh, Google, um, you know, we have this thing AlphaFold, which is able to talk about how like proteins work and how they interact with each other. 